What's going on guys? Welcome back to Turner Fishing. This is Steven Turner. So <clears throat> recently I was watching, you know, as everybody does, YouTube and a guy called World's Worst Fishing posted a video and in the video he showed how to make tube jigs using a common method that anybody can do. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own tube jigs at home virtually for about $10. You make whatever color you want, whatever you need. So stay tuned guys, I'm gonna explain everything. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button for me. If you haven't subscribed already, it's free. Just like the knowledge in this video. So we're gonna dive right into this. <clears throat> so the things that you need for in order for this to work, you need to go out to Walmart, Sportsman Warehouse, Academy, Dick's. It doesn't matter. And you wanna pick out whatever color that you wanna make. You know, you want you want to make green pumpkin tubes, you want to make black and blue tubes, you want to make chartreuse tubes. Go and get you about two packs of rubber worms. Like literally rubber worms. All right, so that's going to be your plastic. This is how you can do this at home without having to buy all the, the plastic and stuff that we use here at, at Crappy Man Jigs. Go out and get you some packs of worms. All right, you got your packs of worms. Now you're gonna need either a small Pyrex cup. You can get these for a buck at Walmart. You gotta get Pyrex though, because it heats in the microwave really good. I personally use the, the one cups. That's normally what we use. You can get a two cupper, but you'd have to buy a lot, a lot of rubber worms to do that. So you got rubber worms, a Pyrex cup to heat it up in. You need a microwave. A well ventilated area we have fans in here and the windows are normally open it's kind of cold though and last but not least you need a screwdriver now the screwdriver is going to be your main deal the screwdriver is how wide your jig is going to be the tube how to how big your tube is going to be and then you need a razor blade to cut the tails out <clears throat> So I'm gonna explain how to heat your plastic up, what degrees it needs to be, and then we'll go over the process of how to make the jig and then cut the jig. I'm not very good at cutting the tails yet because I just started doing this, but I wanted to get this video out because, I mean, this is just a simple do-it-yourself. You can make these, anybody can make these. So let's go over here to the old microwave. Now I've got a heat gun. I don't I don't use it anymore. I mean, I've been making uh, soft plastic for about two years now. Let me set y'all down. So pretty much, I'm going to be heating up this much plastic. It's about half a cup. Now, when you cut worms up to heat plastic, you know, you want to get a little bit above half a cup. That's what I said. Buy about two packs. Uh, it don't matter what kind of worm it's all gonna melt down so this right here is a, a color we've been working on we don't have a name for it and daddy's been slaying it so we haven't released this one yet all right so you, you want to take your worms you want to snip them up put them in your cup now you want to go to the microwave and what I like to do I started off about a minute my minute 30 give or take you don't want to nuke it because plastic does burn and it changes the color to just ugh. it just gets real nasty so we're gonna heat this up for a minute 30 pull it out in the microwave it's really hard to see me and all this i take the heat gun and hit it i'm looking for about three about you know <clears throat> You gotta take and stir it as you go and put it back in there and you want to do 30 second intervals like this right here is at 350 right now and that's kind of what i want so you want to heat your plastic up to about 350 and i'm sorry if i'm not explaining this as good as i should but you you want the easiest explanation you want your plastic to be running like that So I believe this one probably about 
20 more seconds on this. And it's gonna be ready to rock. So while that's going, I'm gonna sit right here, try to get the camera. Yeah, right there. Got all the jigs from the orders that I'm doing currently. All right, so you got your plastic. I'm gonna hit this with a heat gun one more time. You always gotta stir it up because you know, some plastic over here is gonna be hotter than over here and etc. So you stir it up to get it all as consistent heat level as possible. So we're hitting it, it's at 340, 337. So I don't know if that's gonna keep, no. But that's what I'm looking for, around 320 to 340. So now we're gonna take whichever screwdriver you want. And you know, the bigger the screwdriver, the bigger the tube. I want a little bait, so I got a little screwdriver. And you're basically just gonna dip this in here and go one, two, three. Take it out, let all the excess plastic drain off. And then you're gonna go back in. One, two, three. And as you do that, it's going to build up around the screwdriver. Now, if you have trouble getting your jig off of the screwdriver itself, you can put a little bit of lube on it, like mineral oil or WD-40 or even Pam. So we're going to dip this another time. One, two, three. See, it's real thick right now. I'm going to let all that run out. Just gonna hold it up. <clears throat> now, as it's all done dripping, you're gonna have a little bit of a little thing right there, but that's fine. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set it right here on the side of the table, not let anything touch it. Try to move it around just a little bit and I'm gonna let that dry and once that's dry <clears throat> we'll see what the finished product of what we got and we'll cut the tails off of it I mean this is really simple and it really really makes a decent looking tube jig for you know the the pirates cups probably two three dollars at Walmart you can get two bags of the uh, zoom trick worms i know for about six bucks and you probably got a screwdriver laying around the house and some way to cut the tail so virtually you're making these jigs for like 10 bucks <clears throat> this right here is what we ended up with you pretty much got a cylinder with a little bitty you know where it dripped off of so what you're going to do you're going to start at the back and you're just going to slowly push this up and it'll come right off the screwdriver I didn't use any oil on this but if you're having trouble with it use some oil and that, or there's what you end up with so now I'm gonna take put the camera back down here So now you've got your finished sprue right here, the little tube, you got your little head on it. I'm gonna take my razor blade and cut just enough off of it that it stays pretty solid. So it'll end up looking like that. And now what you, all you've got to do is measure up where you want it. I, I want this whole thing to be a jig, so I'm gonna go about an inch and a half this way and I'm gonna start cutting my tails and the best way to do it is just to put pressure down move put pressure down move put pressure down move because if you try to slice it you end up ripping the jig so I'm gonna do one that way I'm gonna turn it over do another one Alright, we're going to 
turn it over again. One there. Turn it right there. Do one there. So, I mean, like I said at the beginning, I got to figure out how to cut these tails a little bit better. That's kind of what I ended up with, which is perfectly fishable, especially since you're making it yourself. So, now all you got to do, I got a 164 Crappy Man Jigs. And I'm going to go straight up the tube. All the way to the head. And you poke your eyelid out. And there you go, guys. A 100% fishable tube jig for less than 10 bucks. I saw World's Worst Fishing do this, and I'm like, man... That's freaking cool. I've got to share this with my audience. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Go out there and make you some tube jigs. Let me know how yours turn out. Tag me on Facebook or Instagram and show me your jigs after you're done making them.